Chris Rose with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. The Steelers needed overtime to beat the Seahawks. Geno Smith fumbled deep in his own territory in their second possession of OT, setting up Chris Boswell's game-winning kick. Steelers win 23-20. The Cowboys took care of the Patriots in overtime thanks to Dak Prescott's touchdown pass to C.D. Lamb for the walk-off win 35-29. The Cowboys are 5-1 heading into their bye. The Cardinals remain the lone unbeaten team after Kyler Murray tossed four touchdown passes to best Cleveland 37-14. Arizona continues their best start since 1974. The Ravens rolled past the Chargers 34-6. Baltimore's D holding Justin Herbert to under 200 yards passing, and they picked him off. The Raiders got a W as Rich Passaccia in his coaching debut bested Denver. Derek Carr threw for 341 in two scores. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Get stylish, durable flooring for your home that will last a lifetime. And get it installed with help from Lowe's. Get Stainmaster Pet Protect Carpet starting at just $1.99 per square foot. And Pergo Wet Protect Laminate starting at $2.49 per square foot. Both with limited lifetime warranties. Order now, only at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. Install available in-store only and through independent contractors. See Lowe's.com for details and licensing. U.S. only. See Lowe's.com product detail page for more warranty information. Okay, my shipments have to get the customers on on time and looking good. It's possible with Staples Connect. Staples Connect has small business shipping covered with premium shipping supplies and UPS shipping services. And now, buy two, get one free on select shipping supplies like bubble roll and premium shipping boxes. Plus, get 20% off UPS Express shipping services. Explore what's new at your local Staples store or staplesconnect.com. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. Ends 1030. Visit staplesconnect.com slash shipping for details. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXO, El Centro, California. Uh, Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Carol. It's a Monday, the 18th day of October, 2021. All day long. All day long, unless, um, you know, Sacramento changes things again. Yeah, on uh, short notice or no notice. Yes. One or the other. Yeah. We do better when they're not in session. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well. For a variety of reasons. Yes. Looking back in history on this date in 1950, Connie Mack announced that he was going to retire after 50 seasons as the manager of the Philadelphia Athletics. Okay. He owned the team. It goes Therefore, backwards. he were the manager and he wasn't going to fire himself. Everything else, too, right? Pretty much, okay. Uh, The Philadelphia Athletics, they moved to Kansas City, then to Oakland, and uh, my understanding is they will be moving again. Nobody really knows yet where the rumor is where they might be going? Well, I have heard Portland, and I've heard Las Vegas. Hmm. Well, Las Vegas would, uh, they would have really gotten into the major... Professional sports. Now, that would give them the hockey team and then, uh, of course, uh, the football. Right. And baseball. And, uh, of course, for years, Las Vegas was off limits for professional sports because of the taint of gambling. Mm -hmm. But now, online betting sites are far and away the biggest spenders in uh, promoting uh, professional sports. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and and as I've said before, I see no way anything could possibly go wrong with that, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. no problem at all. <laughs> no problem. Oh well. And, and you you go why why did it all of a sudden become okay? Yes, money. Yeah, follow the money. You That's got it. it. Oh, oh well. Man. We've got uh, birthdays, singer Russ Giguire of uh, The Association, 78, actor Joe Morton, 74. Mindy of Mork and Mork Mindy, and actress Mindy. Pam Dauber is 71, actor John Lindstrom, 64. Jean-Claude Van Damme is 61, jazz trumpeter Wynton Marsalis, 60, actor Vincent Spano, 59, actor Joy Bryant, 47, actor Wesley Jonathan, 43. Actor Frida Pinto is 37. Actor Zach Efron 
is 34. Actor Joy Lauren, 32. Actor Tyler Posey is 30. Actor Toby Regbo is 30. Okay. I've heard of a few of them. A few. Yeah. So uh, did you have a good weekend? You got everything done that you had planned on doing, right? Pretty much. Pretty okay. much. And you, it's the same? I actually got a few things I hadn't planned on doing done. That's I'm not good. sure why. Hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes. And, uh, you know, it often starts with one little job and that leads to another, and right? And another and another yes. and another. Yeah. For so. sure. Anyway, let's see. Oh, a new UCLA study says Americans drank and smoked more, exercised less, and logged more screen time after the pandemic hit. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. The, the yeah. study also found nearly 80% of Americans had more than four hours of screen time a day during the pandemic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I mean, it's just great to see that UCLA has hired Captain Obvious to do the study, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Ray. We're going to have a study to study the study. Yes. I wonder if we can get a uh, government grant for this. It, it's like uh, Big Pharma. I swear they, uh, they develop a pill and then they um, invent a disease for that pill. Well, they've got to make use out of the thing. Yes. <sighs> and I'm always wonder who comes up with the names for these prescription drugs. That that's a big wonder. Yeah. I mean, are, are they slurring their speech? I don't. I know. don't know. You know, it. it uh, you know, maybe they ought to. Uh, you know, come up with uh, this. Be a feel good pill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This be. Stop your stomach ache pill. Well, yeah. we'll, kinda, we'll give it a try. Yeah, kind of like Carter's Little Liver Pills. Little Liver Pills, pills. okay. Yes. Yeah. And Goody's Headache Powder. Both of those names I haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. And goodies. Yeah. And they pretty much say exactly what they are and what they do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There used to be a song oh, well. called Goody Goody. And, of course, the always popular, I don't know if you had it around your house, but cod liver oil. Cod liver oil, yes. Yes. Also, there was another, it was completely witch hazel. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, always good yeah. for cuts and abrasions. Yeah. Yes. And it burned. <laughs> I was going to say, it was some tough stuff. You had to be tough to take it. Yeah. But it did work. And um, uh, mucurichrome. Mucurichrome. Or mm -hmm. methylate, both. Methylate. They, iodine. Burned, yeah. but it seemed to work. Didn't I, it? I keep that at home. Yes, good stuff. Good, uh, good stuff. Okay. It heals you right up. Are you ready for news? We've got news coming your way. We're going to jump in with a look at World in California news headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News special report, America's first black Secretary of State and its first black Joint Chiefs of Staff Chair Colin Powell has died of COVID. CBS's Nancy Cordes has more. Colin Powell was 84 years old, had battled various other ailments, including Parkinson's disease. So that may have made him more vulnerable when he got this breakthrough case of COVID. His family says Powell was vaccinated. In Tbilisi, Georgia, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin praising... Man who was respected around the globe. Quite frankly, it is not possible to replace a Colin Powell. Michigan Congresswoman Debbie Dingell tells affiliate WWJ. Colin was one of the most decent human beings I ever met in my life. He loved his country. He was a trailblazer. Powell was born in Harlem, raised in the South Bronx. By his own account, he was an indifferent student until he entered the U.S. Army Reserves and found the discipline and purpose he'd been looking for. And the rest, as they say, is history. CBS News special report on Vicki Barker. 
Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 76093 L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California Headline News, former Secretary of State General Colin Powell has died of complications from COVID-19. Powell serving in that role during the George W. Bush administration after serving as Joint Chiefs Chairman under President Reagan. In 1996, he spoke at the Republican National Convention in San Diego when the party nominated Bob Dole. I was invited here by my party to share my views with you because we are a big enough party and big enough people to disagree on individual issues and still work together for our common goal. Among other issues, Powell told those in attendance that he supported a woman's right to choose. In a statement, the Powell family said that Powell had been fully vaccinated. A 31-year-old man charged with attempted murder is a hate crime for shooting a black man repeatedly in Stockton last week. 45-year-old Bobby Gale shot allegedly after telling a speeding motorist to slow down. He does have a bullet that's going to be um, in his head and that'll stay there. Gale's brother Marlon saying that Bobby is hospitalized and expected to recover from his injuries. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning. Right now is a good time to call Lock. And, uh, well, you barely made it through the summer. Things are cooler. I, I get in touch with Lock and have that air conditioner repaired or replaced. Lock Air Conditioning and custom sheet metal. Get that satisfying crunch. Now with 20% more honey. Try a delicious Nature Valley Oats and Honey Crunchy Bar with more of the honey you love. So as you guys know, Mark's gone. The float artist at Fred's Floral just took off days before the parade. They need a replacement before business passes them by. And who am I going to get to finish the float? Indeed can help them hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. With Indeed Instant Match, we immediately show you quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed meet your sponsored job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. The $10 Tastemaker from Pizza Hut. Personalize yours with your favorite sauce, crust, and up to three toppings and make the pizza you've always dreamed of. It's so beautiful. No one out pizzas the Hut. As for offer, not available in some locations. Exclusions apply. Extra charge for pan, not available on stuffed crust. It's page one of the local news, page one of the service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. More than a million dollars in grants have been approved for Imperial County. They were announced uh, by Assemblyman Eduardo Garcia. He received a letter from the 15th California Department of Housing and Community Development's Community uh, block grant uh, program. The grants total $1,142,000. The funds are split between the city of Calexico and the county of Imperial. 340000 uh, over $340,000 goes to the city of Calexico's small business assistance program. 169500 to assist with repairs at the Calexico Fire Department. That's station number two. 101000 and some change goes to the city of Calexico to provide uh, public health sanitation infrastructures. And uh, 423733 goes to the County of Imperial for COVID-19 mortgage and utility substance uh, payments. Uh, and 109000 almost 110 goes to the County of Imperial for COVID-19 subsist, uh, assistance and uh, pay payment food voucher program. In other local news, uh, Imperial Irrigation District Board of Directors, uh, they will meet uh, tomorrow. That's a Tuesday. The meeting will be in La Quinta. The board schedules at least four meetings a year in La Quinta. The meetings in Coachella uh, Valley deal with uh, the mostly uh, power with mostly power issues. Public uh, sessions begin at 1 p.m. On the action agenda, 
They will discuss a resolution for continued teleconference to board of directors meetings. They will discuss a belated resolution recognizing National Farmers Day. Security guard services will be discussed. The directors will discuss the energy cost adjustment billing factors for November. The meeting will be live streamed, available on the IID website. KXO News Time 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro suggest the works. The works, including tire rotation and pressure check, brake inspection, fluid top off, battery test, filter check, belts and hoses check, and synthetic blend oil change with up to six quarts of motorcraft oil plus oil filter. You can't beat the works. Quick Lane services all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane in Raleigh and El Centro, ready to serve. A sad story out of the city of Yuma. A fire in a mobile home resulted in a fatality. The Yuma Fire Department responded to a report of a mobile home burning in the 5700 block of East 32nd Street. The fire was reported just after 7 a.m. yesterday morning. Arriving, firefighters found the mobile home engulfed in uh, smoke and flames. A search of the residence uh, located an adult male occupant of the home who was deceased. The cause of the fire is under investigation by Yuma Police and the fire departments. The ever-popular trunk or treat, it's being hosted uh, by the city of El Centro's Parks and Recreation. This year, it will feature the Trail of Terror. It is a family event for uh, children of all ages to enjoy decorated vehicles and to trick-or-treat for tasty sweets in a safe environment. Costumes are encouraged. This, year event, uh, this year's event is being held October the 22nd, and it's at Starkfield in the parking lot uh, on South 4th Street in El Centro. Starts at 5.30 in the evening. Food trucks will uh, be on site. COVID-19 guidelines will be followed. Social distancing and face masks will be required at all times. If you need more information, contact the El Centro Parks and Rec Department. That concludes this edition of Local News. Page 2 coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and Del Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. It's coming back. The DEA is doing it again. Another national prescription drug take back this Saturday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Hi, I'm Tracy Lyon Ramirez with KXO Radio. I'll be broadcasting this event at Starbucks, 2365 4th Street in El Centro. That's right next to Coin Motorsports. Along with the DEA promoting this huge event from 10 a.m. till noon, let's do our part by getting rid of unwanted medications, expired medications, and disposing of them correctly by bringing them to us. Hope to see you this Saturday. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. You can see David, you can see Jose. You can get answers about life insurance, health insurance, auto and home insurance as well. Continuing with more local news, uh, supervisors uh, to meet twice on uh, Tuesday. The Board of Supervisors will hold a regular Tuesday morning meeting. They will hold a special meeting uh, on Tuesday evening. The late meeting will actually be a continuation of the morning meeting. The continu continuation will be to discuss the weekly COVID-19 update. It will be a Zoom meeting beginning at uh, 5 p.m. Tuesday. You can contact the clerk of uh, the Board of Supervisors Office for the Zoom information. You can also live stream the meeting by going to imperialcounty.org forward slash VOSA agendas. Uh, for the past few uh, meetings, protesters have attended the uh, board uh, meetings by uh, meetings to complain about uh, face covering uh, mandates. This is expected to be a topic of this special meeting. Borders to reopen in November. That's the, the news. Elected and business leaders are celebrating. They are applauding the decision to reopen the land ports along the borders with Mexico and Canada. 
They have been closed to non-essential travelers for the past 19 months. The purpose was to help curb the spread of COVID-19. This week, the Department of Homeland Security announces uh, the borders uh, would open to everyone who can prove that they have been vaccinated by the virus. Friday, Mexico's uh, Foreign Secretary, Marcelo uh, Ibard, announced on Twitter the land ports would reopen on Monday, November the 8th. The mayor of San Diego, Todd Gloria, said uh, the timing is perfect for holiday shoppers. Imperial County is uh, hoping the action prompts the hours of the operation at the east port are extended to what they were before the restrictions were implemented. Currently, the east port in uh, Imperial County closes at 2 in the afternoon. Dedication ceremony and candlelight uh, vigil is coming up uh, on October the 25th. It's to honor El Centro police officer Efren Coronel, who died from COVID-19. He had contracted the virus in the line of duty. The 6 p.m. dedication and vigil are being held on what would have been Coronel's 53rd birthday. He passed away on June 3rd of 2020. We'll be back with a look at the weather. Nice to explore your options when it comes to buying insurance, no matter what you're looking for. David H. West Insurance Services offers it all. And being an independent broker, we have many companies to choose from. We continue providing Medicare, life, and health plans, and now offer auto, home, and commercial insurance. David H. West Insurance Services can find the right insurance to fit your needs and budget. And best of all, a staff who cares about you. So don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call David H. West Insurance Services at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411 for a free insurance review. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. The National Weather Service says a weak cold front will move through the area, resulting in somewhat cooler temperatures today and tomorrow. Breezy conditions can be expected area-wide today, with the strongest winds expected in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys, especially along the river. Otherwise, high pressure will build back into the region during the latter half of the week, allowing temperatures to rebound back near the seasonal north. Normal. Dry weather should persist through at least the end of the week. 90, the high in the valley yesterday, 58, the overnight low. Wind gusts peaked at 24 miles an hour yesterday. Sunny today with a high near 79. West wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, gust as high as 25 miles an hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 52. West-northwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 79. West-northwest wind around 5 miles an hour becoming calm in the afternoon. And right now downtown 65 degrees with that 52% our relative humidity. And wind out of the west 15 to 20 miles an hour gusting up to 30 miles an hour at times. Page two of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance. Check up on the Medicare supplemental coverage. See if you can do better. Talk to David or Jose at David H. West Insurance Services. At Burgers and Beer, we want you to be happy. Live happy. <laughs> Work happy. Most of all, we want you to celebrate whatever makes you happy at Burgers and Beer. Bring your friends, bring your family, and let's make time for a good time. All the drinks, all the food, and great service, too. Everything you need is right here at Burgers and Beer. Burgers and Beer, the best burgers in town. It's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball. Oh, the Braves beat the Dodgers. Oh, yay. Uh, the Braves, five. Dodgers, four. The uh, Braves walk off with an Eddie Rosario hit, and uh, they're up two zip in that series. Baseball today, the Braves and the Dodgers will go at it this afternoon, followed by this evening, the Astros and the Red Sox. 
in the uh, American League Championship Series. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in health care and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley and, of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all of Pioneers services, visit pmhd.org today. And taking a look at NFL action, the Raiders beat the Broncos 34-24. Ravens ripped the Chargers 34-6. Jaguars over the Dolphins 23-20. Packers beat the Bears 24-14. Bengals beat up on the Lions 34-11. Lions still have not won a game this year. Colts pounded the Texans. 31-3. Rams rolled. Uh, they beat the Giants 38-11. Chiefs over the, the uh, Washington football team 31-13. The Vikings went overtime before they uh, got by the Panthers 34-28. Cardinals topped the Browns 37-14. Overtime for the Cowboys to uh, slip by the Patriots 35-29. Overtime for the Steelers to beat the Seahawks 23-20. Coming up tonight, it's the Bills and the Titans Monday Night Football right here on AM 1230 KXO. And uh, Chicago rallied past Phoenix to win their first WNBA crown. The Skies Kaylee Copper named MVP. And high school football Thursday night. Brawley beat up on Calexico 48-7. to Friday night, it was Palo Verde 48, Southwest 20. Hopeville, 43, Vincent Memorial, 27, Mountain Empire shut out Calipat, 27, nothing. And it was Central, topping the Tigers from Imperial, 28, 7. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you this morning by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. Since 1901, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has provided the finest printing and copying services from start to finish. When you choose Imperial Printers Rocket Copy, you can feel confident in our expertise and personal attention to your project. We have a team of professional graphic designers ready to take your ideas and make them a reality. From promotional merchandise, full color brochures, blueprints, and high speed copies to business forms and everything else in between. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers dependable and affordable quality printing. Thank you for choosing locally owned and operated Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. We have convenient locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And we have a look at financial news with a brief look at the weather. And it is all brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. Southwest Security also offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Amazon may have lied to Congress. Whoa, Amazon? Never. A bipartisan group of lawmakers warn Amazon today they are concerned top executives, including former CEO Jeff Bezos, may have misled or even lied to Congress about the company's business practices. At best, this reporting confirms that Amazon's representatives misled the committee. At worst, it demonstrates that they may have lied to Congress in possible violation of federal criminal law. The lawmakers said they are giving Amazon a final opportunity to provide exculpatory evidence to corroborate the previous testimony and statements on behalf of Amazon to the committee. Meanwhile, the auto industry continues to its rush to build factories for production of the massive batteries needed to power electric vehicles. Automaker Stellantis, formed by last year's merger of Fiat Chrysler and the French automaker PSA Group, 
and South Korean battery maker LG Energy, Energy Solution have announced they are partnering to produce lithium-ion batteries for the North American market. The companies said in a news release they plan to build a new factory with a yearly production capacity of 40 gigawatt hours. What's happening on Wall Street? Mixed. The Dow off 80 points, S&P 500 even, and the NASDAQ is up 27 points. Gold up a dollar eighty an ounce, oil up twenty five cents a barrel. Southwest Security Company is a locally owned security company protecting your property or your business, and now offering live scan fingerprinting to the public. Plus, they added Southwest Postal with post office boxes you can access twenty four hours a day, three hundred and sixty five days a year, with shipping services too using DHL, UPS, and FedEx. They're conveniently located at the corner of Hyle and Fourth Street in El Centro, and if you need something notarized, they can do that too. You can. Count on Southwest Security and Southwest Postal for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It will be sunny today with a high near 79. West winds 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 25 miles an hour at times. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 52. West northwest wind 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Tuesday, sunny with a high near 79. West northwest wind around 5 miles an hour, becoming calm in the afternoon. And right now, downtown, we're looking at 65 degrees, 51% relative humidity, wind out of the west at about 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 30 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil in El Centro. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydrogenning to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 56 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. KXO, El Centro, California. CBS News brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. This is CBS. Your home for original reporting. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Sad news from Washington this morning. Colin Powell, the first black Joint Chiefs Chair and Secretary of State, has died of complications from COVID despite being fully vaccinated. Michigan Democrat Debbie Dingell. Colin was one of the most decent human beings I ever met in my life. He served his country with love and with pride. He believed that public service was absolutely critical. I'm Cammie McCormick in Tbilisi, Georgia. The world lost one of the greatest leaders that we have ever witnessed. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin on a trip overseas delivered a heartfelt statement on Colin Powell, calling him a mentor. We, we will certainly miss him. I feel as if I have a hole in my heart. Austin said Powell was respected around the world. Quite frankly, it is not possible to replace a Colin Powell. We will miss him. Powell was a Republican, but called former President Trump a national disgrace and backed Joe Biden in 2020. Colin Powell was 84. Jury selection is getting underway in Brunswick, Georgia, in the trial of three men accused in the killing of a black jogger, Ahmaud Arbery, in 2020. His mother, Wanda Cooper-Jones, tells CBS News. Thinking back, when Ahmaud was first killed, um, we went through three prosecutors, we went through no arrests, and we finally made it this far, so I'm very Grateful. A father and son are accused of shooting Arbery to death, but the third defendant, a neighbor, recorded it. U.S. officials are working with Haitian officials to try to secure the release of 17 missionaries from a church in Ohio. They were kidnapped at an orphanage over the weekend. Correspondent Manuel Bujorquez is in Port-au-Prince. The notorious gang believed to be involved in this case has been known to carry out mass kidnappings from buses and cars. We tried to contact the leader of the gang by phone last night, but we're not successful, so it is not clear what a ransom is for this group of missionaries. Five of the 17 hostages are children. There could be lots of empty chairs in classrooms in California today. Parents are pulling their kids for the day to protest COVID vaccine mandates. Angela McArdle chairs LA's Libertarian Party. There are definitely parents who are pulling their kids out of school all across California, across the country too. 
Britain's Prince William has awarded the first ever Earthshot prizes for new ideas and technologies to tackle climate change. In the next 10 years, we are going to act. We are going to find the solutions to repair our planet. Costa Rica won for paying citizens to plant trees for to protect the rainforest. The Dow is down 74 points. S&P unchanged. This is CBS News. There's always something new under the sun. CBS Mornings, weekdays on CBS. Did you know that United Healthcare helps connect you to doctors and therapists with 24-7 access to virtual care? So I could have therapy from my couch? Yep. Or a doctor appointment from my car? If you wanted to. Wait, you're right. I don't even like when people see me sing in the car. Couch appointment it is. Virtual visits are just one of the ways United Healthcare helps connect you to better health. Learn more at UHC.com. Plan benefits may vary. This is a metaphor for your business's journey. Sometimes it feels like you're going 100 miles an hour, barely keeping up. But to cruise through challenges, you need someone who's right there with you. That's what Dell Technologies Advisors do. They have the Windows PCs and tech advice you need to get past whatever's in front of you and get where you want to go. Call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. That's 877-ASK-DELL. A start to a simpler experience with Windows 11 Pro. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson led tributes in Parliament today to the lawmaker stabbed to death in a terror attack Friday. At a candlelight vigil, his constituents mourned David Amos as a kind, gentle man who only cared about helping his community. And there was horror that he should be killed during that cherished symbol of British democracy, meeting face to face with British voters. I feel so sad. I don't know where we go from here. As a nation, I don't know where we go from here. I really feel sad. Parliamentary security had already been stepped up after the murder of lawmaker Joe Cox five years ago. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. That didn't take long. Well, day streaming records 30 got 24 million streams. A lot of people do not like their health plan right now, and they're worried they're stuck with it. One that costs too much or doesn't meet their needs or for whatever reason, they're just not happy with it. If that is you, some great news. There really is another choice. It's called MediShare, and it's such a great option, especially if you're self-employed, changing jobs, or part of the gig economy. Here's what you get when you switch to MediShare. First, huge savings. The typical family saves $500 a month. You also get a massive doctor network. You can just use the doctor of your choice or MediShare's free 24-7 telehealth option. And you get to be part of something you can believe in. MediShare is a community of Christians who share each other's health care bills. No wonder MediShare gets double the customer satisfaction ratings compared with typical health insurance. So no, you're not stuck. You've got a great alternative. Call now. 866-88-BIBLE. That's 866-88-BIBLE. 866-88-BIBLE. The coronavirus pandemic has affected many businesses in the Imperial Valley. The Small Business Development Center and Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation are here to help. They can assist with disaster loans and other financing, guidance on establishing a safe workplace, workforce concerns, and additional referrals. For virtual counseling services, call the Small Business Development Center, 7 7- 360-312-9800. Say habla espanol. For more information on business resources, visit ibedc.com. CBS News, a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I always have my music on. With Carol Buckley. I can't go a day without it. 